tonight on Evening. I'm Michael King in Bellevue, 42 floors up. So what's Jason from The Bachelor doing in this swanky condo? He's our tour guide on tonight's penthouse edition of Unreal Estate. Hi. Bachelorette, no more. Desiree Hartsock's next big chapter in Seattle. Hey, I'm Tom Douglas from the Hot Stove Society. Two great shortcut fall desserts. A festival from China lights up the Northwest. This is uh, over a thousand years of culture of Chinese lanterns. And I'm Kim Holcomb with this prime time edition of Evening in Ballard tonight because right around the corner there is a brand new bake shop that I cannot wait to show you. They make my absolute favorite dessert, purple cheesecake. Wait until you see it. But first tonight we're going to take a look inside a Bellevue penthouse that is absolutely going to blow your mind. It's the latest edition of our series, Unreal Estate. And tonight, Michael has a celebrity tour guide with him. Now, this guy looked familiar. It's Jason from The Bachelor. I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. Jason Mesnick is now an East Side real estate broker. If you were in New York, this would be $100 million. He's representing what is believed to be the most expensive listed condo ever in the Northwest. So the elevator is your front door? Yeah, I mean, you walk into your own personal lobby. He is the perfect tour guide for Penthouse 4201. Well, I know the owner really well, and we've had some great Oscar parties, Super Bowl parties, fantasy football drafts. Um, so I've, I've got to know the place really, really well and really, really intimately. A glowing work of art greets you as you walk in. Each layer is individually sandblasted and had to be put in. Jason brought wife Molly up, and this top floor beauty passed the test. My wife looked at me first and she said, are you kidding me? The star of the show, the deck. On the outside, it's over 3,000 square feet, which is bigger than my house, right? <laughs> and I love my house, my house is beautiful, but this deck itself kills my house, right? It wraps around the place and includes a TV above the eight-person jacuzzi. So we are the kings of all Bellevue. <laughs> it feels like it, doesn't it? Totally. Up 42 floors. In the master bath. I don't have any other way to explain it except for your own personal spa. Tub with a view. Tub with, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable. Now this is a master bedroom. I know, this is the place. I mean, I could not even imagine having a place this luxurious. Automatic shades open to the northeast this is what you'll see every morning. More luxury in the living room, which transitions seamlessly into the deluxe dining area and gourmet kitchen. Nice. Oh! Yes. <laughs> On the south side is your own personal sports bar. And right, so we're here in the wine cellar. Massive metal doors. What's this beautiful blue light coming? Well, I'm glad you noticed these because these doors are massive. But each of these little pieces of glass were hand blown. Built in 2009, a complete renovation ramped it up in 2015. High rise living at its finest. It's almost jaw dropping. You can move over to the east side into that deluxe condo in the sky for a mere $14 million. Thanks, Michael and Jason. Well, from The Bachelor to The Bachelorette, Desiree Hartsock starred on that show, and then she met a guy, they got married, and then they moved here to Seattle, where she now lives with the love of her life. Jim shows us what they've been up to outside the spotlight. Hi. How you doing? They Hi. met and fell in love in front of a national audience on ABC's The Bachelorette. Will you marry me? I always tell everyone that regardless of if we met on the show or just out on the street, like, we would be together. So what's the next chapter for newlyweds Desiree Hartsock and Chris Siegfried? Bachelorette star Desiree Hartsock is expecting. I'm so excited. Right now, the focus is on the baby. After the publicity whirlwind following their season on the show and the wedding that followed, Desiree and Chris have settled in here in Seattle. I love it here. I didn't go on the show for Spotlight or for fame. It was really just like an adventure and experience. And then I ended up meeting, you know, my husband and I didn't want to be in the spotlight in that way. Totally. The Emerald City seemed like the perfect place to start a family. I like it. I mean, I like the Northwest. I'm from Portland originally. And I think Seattle's better, way better. <laughs> Chris works in mortgage banking. <laughs> and Des is a wedding dress designer a perfect fit for one of America's most watched romantics. It's been great because obviously it's opened opportunities and doors. She writes a bridal blog, authored a book about planning weddings on a budget, and has some big plans of her own. 
have like a storefront and be able to help Seattle brides find the dress of their dreams. But for now, this celebrity couple happily shuns the spotlight as they prepare to introduce baby to the world. An adventurous lifestyle. There you go. The kid will have an adventurous lifestyle. It's happily ever after for this one-time bachelorette and her perfect match. 50 years from now. He'll still be making me laugh 50 years from now. <laughs> That's cute. Thank you, Jimmy. That is really sweet. Chris and Desiree's baby is due next month, and of course, we wish them all the best. Well, we are here in Ballard tonight because there is a brand new bake shop that officially opens this weekend that I'm telling you guys, you have to come out and try. It's called Hood Famous, and they make small batch handmade Filipino cheesecakes that taste as good as they look. Take a look. It's my favorite color. <laughs> This is what happens when classic New York cheesecake meets a Southeast Asian staple, ube, a sweet purple yam, used in the kind of traditional Filipino desserts Shara Amlag ate as a little girl. Being born there and then growing up here, this is actually a really good representation <laughs> of who I am. I love cheesecake, so I said I'm gonna put my favorite thing that I grew up with as a child in a cheesecake and it just kind of took off from there. After much trial and error, she served her first batch of ube cheesecakes at a pop-up restaurant. They were instantly hood famous. People started asking for special orders. Then local stores and restaurants began carrying them. Shara was making every single dessert by herself. Probably tens of thousands by now. This whole process, honestly, I always tell people, if I can do this, anybody can. Hood Famous Bake Shop's storefront marks Shara's next chapter in cheesecake. In addition to the signature ube, she sells flavors like white chocolate guava, coconut, and Vietnamese coffee. Made with love in a kitchen she runs with her husband, small and intimate by design. It's rooted in the sense of home and feeling like you're going into a very neighborly bakery. A bakery blending two worlds into one perfect dessert. I mean, seriously, how good did that look? That looks, it looks really, really good. Really okay, good. so you can go to Hood Famous. This Saturday is their grand opening. They're at the corner of Market and 24th right here in Ballard. Go check them out. And while you come to Ballard, come and eat at Gracia too, right here. And you could come tonight because you guys, it's National Taco Day. National Taco Day. Enjoy. All new viewer mail from the Evening Inbox. Please don't let Jim Deaver sing on your show. Plus, uh, Chef 